Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar's negative sentiment succumbed to further bearishness on Friday and hit a low of 68.64 before staging an re early rebound this morning. It is assessed that from this week that the eyes will be on the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia's monetary policy meeting minutes and then scheduled from Tuesday on to Wednesday, the RBA Governor Lowy is due to speak at the Economic Outlook and Monetary Policy. And no doubt the questions will be on the fact if, is will the RBA ease in June after the disappointing employment, uh, unemployment rate that is, rose from 5% to 5.2. From a technical point, the downtrend holds around 69.25.45 and further resistance seen at 69.85. I would only get concerned if we break above the 69.85 level, but I do expect to see fresh challenges towards the top side to fail, and we are looking overall towards an objective of 68 cents, with immediate support seen at 68.55. The euro still remains on track to challenge the level of 110.70.85, after the recent two challenges towards the top side of 112.55.65 failing. It is ascertained that the market bears will continue while the dollar strength looks further to the upside and now on track to challenge the highs of 98.10 as it closed in New York on Friday at 97.85. The dollar yen outlook is still remaining positive after the risk haven, that is, of market buying yen has now taken a slight back step. But the US dollar recovering further on Friday now puts the view towards 1105565, which was highlighted on Friday, with no trend in place with the ADX and along with the MACD breaking nearly to the walls of the upside, but the RSI has does suggest that we should see a further rally into this week for dollar yen. Well, the pound has slipped further and it's all about who replaces Theresa May? There is, at the moment, Boris Johnson, who did chuck his hat in the arena to put his hand up and say that he would contest. It is also the fact that um, the market bears are holding to 126.70, but failing to hold there could expose the region of 124. Looking to the top side, I do expect to see any challenges towards 128.20.35 to fail. Viewing the gold outlook, the market smashed through the level of 1,288, which was the trigger level, on the way up. And from the break, now looks towards the region of 1,270 to 74. From a technical aspect, I do expect to see a rebound like the previous attempts towards this lower side of the range. And look back towards the region, I believe it comes in now 83 to 87 to 94. Keep stops relatively tight in case we see a break of 70. Finishing off with oil, the market's still rallying and looking up towards 64, 65.85 as a potential target. Any pullback should find support initially from 61.5 with a base now seen at $60 a barrel. But the technical aspect is quite bullish. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day Report. I hope you enjoy the great start to this new week.